Hello everyone, welcome to The Green Man, hope you're doing good and well. So in this midweek album review, I'm reviewing an album that was recommended to me by Chill Dude on a Couch Reviews. And this is by the band Moths and their release Space Force. This is a debut album which came out last week on the 12th of August, on Friday the 12th. Um, and it's six tracks, comes in at about 28 minutes in length, so it's a fairly short one. Um, it's good. We've got five band members in this band. You've got Demaris Rodriguez on vocals, Daniel Figueroa on drums, Jonathan Miranda on lead guitar, Omar Gonzalez on rhythm guitar, and Wesley Negron on the bass as well. And this is quite a complex, really trippy, psychedelic album with a lot packed in. You know, it's quite a short running time. There's a lot packed in here, a lot to digest. I've had to listen to this several times to unpick a lot of what's going on as you go from track to track. Another thing I would say is each track is quite distinctive from one another. No track is quite, you know, two sounds sounding the same, which is where the album draws, you know, certainly its strengths, uh, is it has an unpredictability, an element of AX experimentation to it, uh, a style of 70s influenced era um, prog as well, that reminds me a lot of the King Crimson style record, and the playing, the guitar playing, even a lot of the lead guitar work, certainly brings me back to that Robert Fripp style of, of playing, which is really good on this album. It's certainly some of my personal highlights are certainly all that sort of the guitar work, the guitar combinations, um, the alternating of, of, of you know, some heavy, uh, harsh and clean vocals as well on this album, which I'll come to as well a bit later on. And, you know, it's, yeah, as I say, the album's very compact. It's, very, it's a pretty short album, um, but it does have, uh, quite a few different styles fused together and a lot of interesting elements. It's certainly a very colourful album to match with the artwork, the really cool kind of uh, comic book style um, sci-fi artwork that they've got going on, which matches, I think, the sort of, you know, how eclectic, how out there this album is. It's a very interesting one that, like I say, I've, I've, I'm sort of enjoying it more as I kind of unpack it a bit more with each listen. Um, so yeah, I was really impressed by this, particularly as it's a debut. This is the band's debut album, as I understand. Um, so you've got six tracks here, two very short ones in Space Cowboys Ballads, which I liked actually. It was sort of, again, that King Crimson sort of like slightly strange sound, a strange effect that they've maybe got going on on the guitar on that one, I don't know. And there's No Place Like Home was the other short track. Now the longer tracks I thought were where this album really shone really brought it to life. In particular, my two personal favourite longer length tracks on this were Broken Slumber and Unbound. And um, this is where I wanted to talk a bit about the vocals because Damaris Rodriguez, her, these sort of clean vocals are really great when they come into play and they come into force and take centre stage in those moments on the album when you kind of got these sort of rocky rhythms um, and you've got those those really really pretty cool uh, clean vocals over the top, and I thought that was I really enjoyed that um, that aspect of this album when it when it came uh, when it sort of came centre stage if you like I really liked that a lot on the album, and uh, you know so you've got to got on those two tracks as well you've got that mixed with my or with that enjoyable uh, King Crimson style guitar work as well that I really liked. And uh, I'm not sure if I've already mentioned this actually, I can't think now, but it's a lot of, you kind of feel a bit like there's a Mastodon once more around the sun feel at times in those tracks too, particularly the sludgier moments on the album, the heavier moments, remind me quite a lot of the once more around the sun era, um, well, once more around the sun, Mastodon. Um, and I enjoyed that, as, as that was another part of the album that I could come back to and recognise, felt were certainly some memorable moments there with those tracks that, that took me back to that sort of style too. Um, again, you know, Unbound, showcasing, I think, where this album really comes to life and where it's really, really impressive. So if I could say anything about this, and you know, first of all, I think as a debut album, it's really great. Um, and I think that something as a takeaway I would say is, you know, if this band produced something more structured you think how amazing that would be and you know just something a little bit more structured and longer i think you could have a really fantastic piece of work from these guys and like i say i really liked this and i think given its short running time it's still a really great album 
Um, I would give this an eight out of ten, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, as just as a, a just as a sort of a relatively minor point, I think if the album was longer, it would have been even better. Um, and with that little bit more structure, I would have, I, you know, this would be really fantastic. So maybe for the sophomore for the next effort, that would be something I would really look forward to. Would be something of this caliber, but but a longer. Um, Perhaps with a touch more structure would be really fantastic. So yeah, I enjoyed this album. Bly Moths, Space Force. Look forward to what we have from them in the future. Um, just to say, the next review on the channel is going to be Soil Work. And their new album, Over Given Hetten. I think <laughs> it's one of those album titles um, that I will struggle to pronounce, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that new album from Soil Work. I haven't really listened to much of it yet, so I have... A lot to, uh, to I'm sure, to digest. There will also be a soil work tier list and follow up to that, but it's going to take me a couple of weeks to get to it because I want to let the new album digest, and I also want to revisit quite a few of their other albums. So I'm in a position to revisit the soil work discography because I did do a ranking uh, as one of my first videos on the channel. But I'm going to do a proper tier list, a tier list video for soil work, just to make it slightly different this time round from the first video I did on the channel. Anyway, thanks everybody very much for watching this album review. If you like reviews of albums or rankings and some of the occasional sci-fi horror and fancy content on this channel as well, do drop a like and subscribe. It's been really good to see the channel recently kind of getting loads and loads of views, well loads of views compared to uh, you know not that long ago and so it'd be great if you drop a subscribe and support the channel, that means so much. Um, so do do that and I will bring more videos of this kind in the future. Thank you very much indeed. Take care, everybody. Until next time, bye for now.